Welcome back, Jordan Fawcett team. My name is Jorge Acuna, your safety representative. And I'm Damon Alvarez, EHS director for Jordan Foster Construction. It's 2024 and we're starting the year off with some heat. Damien, what are we talking about in the safety bike? So as far as heat, we're gonna talk about fire prevention and fire extinguishers on our various types of projects and even our yards. So Damien, why are fire hazards important in construction? I mean, fire hazards are one of the biggest dangers that we have on a construction site. One small spark, one little thing could ignite a whole project, especially if we have a lot of debris or anything wood product that's gonna burn quick and it's all over our project, so that's why it's very important. So Damien, on our projects, other than the material that we use and, and stuff like that, what other things do we have to look for around us? For example, here on this project at Kennyport, one of the things that we're looking at is like this tree right here. It's part of the natural habitat. We got dry grass, we got dry trees, and any little spark, anything that we're doing where we're cutting, we have fumes around here, can start a fire and we have subdivisions next to us and everything. So we have to take care of all this stuff and make sure we prevent fires of this manner too. So Damien, when working with hot work, what are the processes and procedures for it? So the process and procedures is we should get a hot work permit and have that filled out. It needs to be filled out correctly. It has to be filled out by our superintendent who is a competent person. The other thing is we gotta have our fire extinguisher there the whole time our task is being done. And then after that, we have to have a fire watch for 60 minutes as per the NFPA and OSHA who incorporates it by reference. Who, who fills out the hot work permit and how long is it good for? So that hot work permit is filled out by the competent person slash superintendent. And that hot work permit, we have a space in there that lets you put it in there for a day or up to three days, depending on the type of work you're doing. But if anything changes, the people, the task, the equipment, the tools, that hot work permit is now canceled and you have to start a new one. So Damien, how far should a fire extinguisher be from the hot work? So that fire extinguisher should be within 25 feet of that hot work because too many times we see that that fire extinguisher is right next to the task at hand. And if, that sh if something should happen and we need to grab that fire extinguisher, we don't want it next to the hot work. We want it within 25 feet where it's safe to grab that fire extinguisher and use it if we need to. I heard you mention the fire watch. What is a fire watch, Damien? So a fire watch is somebody who's in charge of, it, it, it sounds like what it means. They watch the task that's being done. They make sure that that task is not creating any type of fire around that area. They're also there to make sure that anybody that has not have anything to do with that task get too close to it. Also, after that task is done, they also need to stay there to make sure that no sparks, no embers or anything like that has been left behind to cause a fire after the task is done. That's why they have to wait there for one hour. So Damien, what are we looking at here? So right here at one of our, one of our building groups projects, we're looking at our yards or our trash cans. And we keep those more than 10 feet away from our building. If you look, because it has combustible material. So the important part is housekeeping and keeping this away from the building. So Damien, what do we, what do we want to look at in our areas where we're working? So one of the most important things on a project is housekeeping. And you might say, well, housekeeping has nothing to do with fire prevention. But we have to remember that almost every product or anything that we use on our projects, whether it's vertical or horizontal, then they're, they're going to be combustible, whether it's paper, whether it's wood, whether it's plastic. All those things are combustible, so we can't have them all over the place. We need to put them together and put them in the trash bins like we talked about earlier. And at the same time, make it look the way it is here. People can walk around without tripping or anything like that. It's clear and free of clutter. So Damien, what do we do with fire extinguishers on residential projects? So when we're going vertical, one of the things we have to remember on residential projects or any building going vertical is if we have multi levels or different floors, everywhere we have a stairwell, we need a fire extinguisher. So on this level going up to the next one, we just came up from over there, there was a fire extinguisher. And then the level above that, there's another fire extinguisher at each level. The other thing that we have to remember when we're doing buildings is for every 3,000 square feet, you need a fire extinguisher to be able to cover that area. So Damien, I know that we don't always store fuel on our projects, but Correct. if we do, what do we need to make sure that we have? So if we have any large fuel containers on our project, something like we have back here, we have to remember that this has to be 30 feet away from the area that we're working in. Can't be near any ta task or anything like that. The other thing is we gotta make sure we have the right type of fire extinguisher near us. One of the biggest things, and we've already kind of mentioned it, is we've seen fire extinguishers on top of this fuel container right here where it shouldn't be. It should be within 25 feet away like they have it here at this project. Any other additional information? 
So yeah, so anytime we have any type of fuel container like this that's a little bigger than what we're used to, we have to make sure that we're abiding by all state and municipal codes also. The other thing to remember is just upkeep with this, that this fuel containment area right here, in case of an emergency spill, is maintained clean, that there's no water or trash inside of it, because trash is combustible and can create a hazard there. So Damien, on our builder jobs, what are some of the things we need to focus on with fires? So one of the things we need to focus on is, you know, fire prevention, right? So we have to talk about placement. Placement of fire extinguishers, placement of fuel containers, and placement of trash cans or yard or any type of material that needs to get out of the project. We have to think of all these things and make sure everything is placed where it's supposed to be.